We can only speculate as to how Charles Stokes, born in Victoria, working in Brisbane at the time of his enlistment, came to be honoured with a memorial tree in Umundi. Charles Stokes enlisted with his brother George Robert Stokes in 1915, along with two other brothers down in Lismore. They have consecutive numbers in their battalion. And it's interesting that without modern communications, that they were able to communicate with each other, A, that they were going to enlist, and B, that they enlisted all at the same time. They became famous as the fighting brothers of Nowra, even though George and Charles were living in Queensland, is that the parents were residing in Nowra at the time. In 1916, Charles left Australia and made his way to Egypt. He and his brother were chosen, maybe because of their small stature, he was only five foot five, to join the cycling corps. In that particular time, the cycling corps was responsible for, for moving communications around the battalion in, when they were in battle. They were in full battle dress. They had a rifle either attached on the frame of their bicycle or across their body. It was a short-barreled uh, Enfield. And it's reputed that they could ride and pick up a wounded soldier and get them on their bicycle without stopping, which is just amazing. By the time he got to France, the war had changed. In the start of the war, a running war where the Germans were advancing, there was retreats and advances, and it was now entrenched. So he was now ensconded into the infantry. The time when Charles was on the Western Front was probably his undoing. It was the coldest winter on record. The men were fighting and living in conditions that were deplorable. They were constantly damp. They'd wake up in the morning and their, their blankets were frozen. It's no wonder then that he fell ill. As soon as he came out of the front line, he was diagnosed with bronchitis. His condition worsened to the point where he was taken by a train ambulance to Etapals and he was admitted to the 7th General Canadian Hospital. And there, unfortunately, on the 1st of March, he died. And he was buried in the nearby cemetery at Etapals with full military honours. The Sydney Morning Herald recorded the enlistment of the boys of Nara on front page, made it a big story. They also recorded his death, but this time, unfortunately, he was relegated to page 11 of the Sydney Morning Herald. Going from being a, the great heroes of Nara, he was just now relegated to one of the casualties of the war.